Hello fellow problem solvers. So they're going to be doing a problem from my second Junior Balkan Marathon Bit Team Selection Test. This one I actually passed to the Junior Balkan Math Olympiad from. And I'm going to invite you to try this problem out for a minimum of 15, actually 30 minutes, not more than an hour, hour and a half. And ideally at least 45 minutes, you know, ideally around 45. Uh, if you'd like to go along with us, read the problem. I translated this as best as I could, and I gave you the original translation, and try it out for the next five minutes. If you don't understand it for the next five minutes, if you get what the gist of the problem is, then try it for about 10, 15 minutes. So now let's begin. So when I saw this translation, I was like, what is, what is happening? Oh my God. So first, n integers are given. Okay. This is a word problem. Math is sometimes, you know, you want to transform words into actual variables, numbers that you can work with. So we have n integers. Okay, call them x1, x2, and xn. Now, it is known that the product of one of them and the sum of the remaining n1, okay, so you have the product of, say, x1 with the sum of the remaining xn plus 1 is divisible by the sum of them all. It's divisible by x1 plus x2 plus xn. Prove that the sum of the squares of these integers, so x1 squared plus x2 squared plus xn squared, is divisible by the sum of them all. So, how do you go about this? Being a person who doesn't like to write much can be very helpful in a problem like this. Because I see I have a sum here, a sum here. This is almost a sum that I need. So let me just like label this sum S is equal to X1 plus X2 plus Xn. And then I can write this condition as the S divides Xi times the sum of all of them without Xi plus 1. That's what a condition rewrite says. And I need to prove that S divides x1 squared plus xn squared. And also here's like a terminology. You can also write this as a sum of i equals 1 till n xi to squared, which means for i is 1 till i is n, we'll have this thing for every single i between 1 and n. That's another way to rewrite the sum. Now what do we get from here? We get from this condition, we get that Actually, we get that I invite you to pause for five minutes and try to push the problem further, maybe even solve it. And here's now what we get. We get that S divides XIS minus XI squared plus XI. In other words, because S divides this and S divides SXI, we can subtract this from this, or actually this from this, and get that S divides xi squared minus xi. That's what the condition rewrite says. And now we know this. If you didn't get here, pause for another five minutes. Because what this gives us now is we can go sum over all of these. Now we have s divides x1 squared minus x1, s divides x2 squared minus x2, and s divides xn squared minus xn. And why do we want to sum up over all of them? Well, I want to get S dividing their squares. I have their squares. Let me sum them all up and get all my squares that I need. And what happens when you sum all of these up, you get that S divides, now the sum of the X I squared minus X I for I is one through N. I'm trying to get you used to this terminology if you didn't see it before, which is equal to the sum till n from i equals 1, the sum of the xi's minus the sum of i till n. These xi squares minus these, you can separate these out when you have these sums. I should do this to make sure that it's understandable what I'm talking about. And from here, this is equal to, let's call the sum of the squares, let's say, e. Here I get s divides e minus s, given s divides s, what can I do? Pause for five minutes, finish it up. 
I can add these two together and have that the sum divides E, which is what I needed to prove. And pretty much for me, when I was solving this problem, I got this idea because I wanted, I was really like, I don't want to, I want to write down this condition in, in a general form. And because I wanted to do that, I just wrote it down like this, actually using the sum. And then I saw, wait, I have a sum here, I have a sum there. This cancels out. And then I have this condition, which I can just, wait, can I just add them up? I, I need to add them up to get to these squares. And you do that and then you're like, oh, that's it. This finishes up the problem. And I also wanted to do this to show you like what a year, what a difference a year can make. Like a year ago, like 20, 12 team selection tests, I was, I did not as well. I might have had three points on the first problem. Here I had 10. So a year, if, if you've gone for a competition and it's like you don't know, I don't know if I can become better. The answer is yeah. The difference we, we, between those two years was a lot of training. Actually, not a lot of training. It was a decent amount of training. But I got trained in writing proofs, doing exams. And if you want to do well, your math competitions, you need to train, do exams, and that will get you better. This finishes up this lovely little problem, and as always, thanks for problem solving.